one of the biggest things that I'm running for president on, which I feel like is my most likely um, thing to fail on, is that I want to rewrite the Constitution. I don't think it's necessary to have prohibition in the Constitution if prohibition's like, why, why do you have to ban alcohol when it's gonna be removed? So I want to rewrite it in modern English because I think that the kid who graduated from eighth grade should be able to read the Constitution. But in this Constitution, I also want to consider how the world has changed because technology um, changes how privacy um, works. Like uh, technology can make it so that you completely lose your privacy, but you might be okay with that. So I think it's important to clarify um, what powers the government has. You know, is FISA constitutional? That, that means uh, can the government search people with that are called foreign intelligence persons that are actually American citizens that are like sixth generation American citizens? Can you call that person a foreign intelligence person and therefore they don't have constitutional rights? Because you combine it with the Patriot Act. Um, is, that, is that legal? Personally, I don't think it is. I think that if you're an American citizen, you, you should be able to assume the Constitution applies to you because that's what the Constitution is. It's the, like, or at least specifically the Bill of Rights is, which is a part of the Constitution, is how people are protected from the government. The government can't break the Bill of Rights. A judge can't, well, no, I just decided to break the Bill of Rights. They can't do that. If the Sixth Amendment says I have a right to a public trial, and I, like, I have a right to know like, my, my accusers and stuff like that and put them on the stand, then clearly I'm allowed to say this guy's name. But no, that's bullying. I'm gonna put you in prison where we're gonna try, or put you in jail where we're gonna try to kill you. Wait, we're not trying to kill you, but I'm an intelligence person. I know that this person might try to kill you. That's why you're in the cell with them. All right, so um, in my new constitution, I, wanna, I want to write it at a ninth grade reading level, but I still want it to be beautiful. Like, I mean, if, if it's, kind of like the preamble where we're making it really fancy, we can write above ninth grade. But uh, in the Bill of Rights, I want it to be ninth grade. You have the right to possess and carry a firearm. But you, if you, it, here's the situation in which you can lose your rights. But um, you probably shouldn't lose your right unless, like, rights unless there's a really good reason for it. Um, can you possess a rifle? Can I carry around an assault rifle with um, a 100 round magazine? Inshallah, no. Um, so let's say that in the Constitution. You're not allowed to possess more than 45 bullets on your person at any time. I think that's a reasonable um, situation to be in. I think that we should be able to talk to the NRA and, and, and say that's okay. Actually, no, the NRA is irrelevant now. We're going to start the Gun Rights Association. So as long as you don't have more than 45 bullets, unless you're like at the range and then you're like carrying your bullets. I don't think there's any problem with you having a gun, but I think some people like can get their gun rights taken away because they've been violent in the past. Yeah, I think that's pretty reasonable. Um, all right, so I've talked about how we have to change, we have to clarify the second amendment. We need to clarify abortion rights, which we might not actually clarify the second amendment, honestly. We might just leave it the same because everyone disagrees so much. Okay, we'll leave that exactly the same. We're gonna call it the right to bear arms. We already know what that means. Um, we'll leave that up to future courts. But I think that we do need to make sure that women have a right to choose, the right, to, which means the right to have an abortion. Um, and I've talked about how I'm for universal health care. I'm for free abortions. I don't think that abortion should be something that only rich girls get. I think that if you have a, if you get knocked up when you're in high school and you need to have an abortion, you need to have an abortion because I don't think your life should be completely ruined uh, because you have a kid when like, it, it, like you can have a child after you finish school, but if you have a child, you're not gonna finish school probably. It's just how life works. All right, so um, I wanna liberalize me prescription medicine laws. I don't know if that's a constitution thing, um, but I, I do think we could put um, a little bit about healthcare laws in the constitution. Um, I don't like how I can't go to the store and get something I think I need. Uh, I don't, I, I don't think, I, I think that if I'm going to make a mistake by not going to a doctor, then that's my problem. I'll, I'll take that mistake on me. 
Um, the, like I, I think the government should let us make more mistakes, and then that will lower prices of a lot of things. All right, so um, I want to legalize gay and plural marriage in the Constitution. I want it to be explicit. Like, I want to be right there where everyone knows you're allowed to get married to more than one person. Uh, I don't know what the max is, but I, I, I want to make sure that that's legal, and I want to make sure that if you're gay, you can get married. I, I, right now, I don't think being... Um, Married, if you're gay, is constitutional. I want to make sure it's constitutional in the Constitution. All right, so I believe that in the Constitution, it should say the maximum age for a Supreme Court justice is the age of 80. I think 80 is old enough. Like, I think that's a reasonable number to, for all the senior citizens to hear. You know, at, after the age of 80, I got really tired. Yeah, I think you should be energetic. You should be vigorous. You should be, I think that 75 is too old, but I think 80 is reasonable. So um, I want to change. I want to change that. I don't like. I think there should be a maximum age for the president. Also, when you're elected, you shouldn't be over 80. Personally, I don't think it should be 75. Um, but I feel like everyone would get mad at me. So it's 80. In my opinion, maybe we can not accomplish all my goals. Um, that's that's a very realistic situation. All right. So I want to remove unnecessary amendments. I've already said that. I want to. Um, make it so that companies can't legally break the First Amendment? Maybe, unless you're like specifically a kid-oriented platform, which I feel like TikTok might be kid-oriented. That's their whole thing is that we're for like young teenagers and that's why they can break the First Amendment so much. Um, but I think that like there need to be restrictions on breaking the First Amendment. They have to alert you if they break the First Amendment. Because right now companies can censor and it's not the government, it's the company deciding on their own at the behest of the government. I don't think that's how it should work. All right, so in the Constitution, I think we should legalize drugs. Um, I've already talked about that enough. Um, I believe one of the most important things that we can put in the Constitution is um, making, the, making it so the feds are in charge of elections. We need to standardize elections. We need to get it streamlined. We need to make it simple. We need to make a computer program that registers you in all, wherever you need to be. Um, obviously state level elections, maybe the states can still take care of it, but, uh, we need to make sure the federal government has very, very vetted software that everyone can have. States can be in charge still. That's fine, but they're going to use the federal government software because if you haven't noticed, there's, there aren't a bunch of Googles. There aren't a bunch of Microsofts. You can say, Oh no, there's, there are like thousands and thousands and maybe even a million different computer companies in the United States. Probably not, but there are thousands and um, they can all make apps. That's fine, but can they make them as secure as a very, 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 very um, um, talented company like Amazon? I know I'm using Amazon. Everyone knows that I have a problem with Jeff Bezos, but I'm just saying like the computer programmers at Amazon are that good that you want them working on something like that. So what all I'm saying is um, we want this code to be vetted. And we want elections to be easy, and we want to make it easy for states to be in charge, but really uh, the Fed should be in charge of federal elections, and I think that should be in the Constitution because we don't live in the same world that the Founding Fathers did where you had to take your horse and a piece of paper and like go somewhere to vote in the Electoral College. We should be practical with our voting system. All right, so um, I talked about how I want to have a bunch of people working together to code an artificial intelligence lawyer that will rev revolutionize the legal system because uh, I think my judge held me in contempt of court because I decided to rep represent myself at court. He doesn't want me to represent myself at court. He wants me to use the lawyer he's choosing for me, which is I have one choice. It's the public defender. And the public defender argued against me when I was trying to get bail. They argued against me having a PR bond. It's like, well, why would I keep my bond the same? Are you crazy? I mean, that didn't make any sense. So why would I pick the public defender? It's because I just got tortured by the sheriff's department and I'm afraid of the judge. Like I'm terrified to talk about my case now. So um, I think having an AI lawyer would streamline a lot of things and having an AI lawyer would also make it like you just ask, get asked questions and then you answer and then it sends in the data for you. All right, so that's it. Um, sorry, I missed Constitution Day. Not really. I hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, I'm sorry I've talked so much.